After a few short weeks as a full-time college student, I'm proud to say the transition had gone quite nicely. My classes were going well, I knew my way around campus, and I had an active and vibrant social life. There you are. Why are you here? Lunch. Don't worry, I didn't start without you. How did you get in? Janitor Jim. And why would Janitor Jim do that? You're not my only friend around here. <sighs> I'll trade you my apple slices for your pudding cup. No. Aren't you a little old for a pudding cup? Sheldon, surely there's somebody else you could have lunch with? There is, but the lunch rush is a busy time for janitors. Perhaps you could work on widening your social circles here. I'm already at two. That's double where I was at high school. Thanks, Jim. between the mantle and the crust and... Excuse me, I'm looking for Dr. Linkletter. He's not here. Sorry for wasting your time. Oh, this is geology. You're already wasting your time. What? I've been looking for you. I was just trying to have a little privacy. Smart. No one will bother us out here. What is that, Ham? Hello, lunch friend. Hi, Sheldon. Egg salad. Stinky. What do you want? I have some bad news. I'm going to join a club on campus, which means we won't be able to have lunch together. Wonderful. <laughs> for you. Sad for me. Hmm. Happy trails. Oh, no. We're still having lunch today. You get to help me decide which club I should join. Terrific. For some reason, Dr. Linkletter felt it was important that I start my quest to join a club immediately. The interview process was tougher than you'd expect. So why exactly should I join your club? Well, cool people, good chess players, and when the weather's nice, we meet in the quad. Outside? Yes. Under trees? Yes. Where birds live? Yes. I think we're done here. So what kind of activities does the science fiction club engage in? Well, this Friday we're having a screening of Star Wars on Laserdisc. I thought this was the science fiction club. It is. Star Wars is science fantasy. The Force is basically magic. At that point, you might as well be watching The Hobbit. That's next week. This is madness. Proposition. The newest member of the debate club should be Sheldon Cooper. You're the affirmative. Go. Who's Sheldon Cooper? Me. And I believe I should not join the debate team because there are far more valuable uses of my time. Do you want to join or not? That's the debate, isn't it? I don't know what's happening. If you're thrown for a loop, wait until you hear my rebuttal. Sheldon Cooper should not join the debate team because your leadership is clearly questionable. Okay, you're not in the club. Ha! I win. Wait. Sheldon, why are you at my desk? I like your keyboard. The ones at the library are too clappy. I thought you were going to join a club. I tried, but they each had their own problems. By chance, were any of those problems you? You're so funny. I missed this. Would you like your seat back? Yes. I'd also like my office back. What do you mean? Son, you can't just hang out here whenever you want. Why not? We're friends. No. I'm a professor, you're a student. I'm 68, you're 11. Do you see where I'm headed here? Nope. Sheldon, I've tried to be nice about this, but you're just not taking the hint. If you have questions about class, I'm here. Otherwise, please, leave me alone. Uh, I understand. Thank you. Dr. Linkletter doesn't want me as a friend. Understandable. I'm also angry. I don't like having two feelings at once. It's annoying. Great. Annoyed. That's three. 